Hello my lovelies, it's Zana, and today I want to show you how to find the determinant of a matrix using Saru's rule. We're going to take a look at these three examples together, so let's start with the first one. We want to find the determinant of this matrix here, and we are allowed to use Saru's rule because this is a 3 by 3 matrix. So you are only allowed to use this rule if you have three rows and three columns. Okay, the rule says the following. Always take your first two columns and write them behind your matrix. So we have one, two, three as a first column and then our second one, two, negative one, two. And now we have these diagonals here, starting here at this upper element, going down, first diagonal. Same thing with the second diagonal, and then a third one. And now to find the determinant of this matrix, we just multiply along our diagonals, and we're going to add these green diagonals then. Let's see what this means. We start with our first diagonal. We multiply along the diagonal. So we have 1 times negative 1 times 4 as our first element here. Then we have a plus and we add the same thing with the next diagonal. We multiply along the diagonal. So we have 2 times 1 times 3 and we add the next diagonal where we multiply again 3 times 2 times 2. But that's not all. We also get other diagonals starting from down here and going up. This one, the next one and the third one. And here we also multiply along the diagonal, but we subtract the diagonals. So we have a minus now, and then we multiply 3 times negative 1 times 3 minus the next diagonal, 2 times 1 times 1, and then minus the last diagonal where we have 4 times 2 times 2. And this is it, and this is all we have to calculate now. I usually suggest to make your calculations twice or several times because it's so common that you don't get the same result if you do it twice. So uh, yeah, it's a normal thing. I don't know, maybe you're better at it than I am, but usually you get really two different results. So what do we get here? 1 times negative 1 times 4 equals negative 4 plus 2 times 1 times 3 equals 6 plus 3. 3 times 2 equals 6, times 2 equals 12. Negative 3 times negative 1 equals 3, times 3 equals positive 9. Negative 2 times 1 times 1 is just negative 2. And then we have negative 4 times 2 equals negative 8, times 2 equals negative 16. Let's calculate. Um, negative 4 plus 6 equals 2, plus 12 is 14 plus 9 is 23, minus 2 is 21, and 21 minus 16 equals 5. And this is our determinant of this matrix here, and we used Saru's rule. Next example, same thing, find the determinant of this matrix. This time we don't have this debt of our matrix, but these lines also mean that we have to find the determinant of this matrix. So if you only have your matrix, you have these round parentheses around here. But if you have these lines, these straight lines, then this is find the determinant of this matrix. We have a 3 by 3 matrix, so we're going to apply Saru's rule. We take the first two columns, so we have zero. Zero is always so nice in a matrix, because if we multiply, we get zero, so the calculations are definitely easier. 
we're going to have our positive green diagonals and to find the determinant we're going to multiply along the diagonals now. 0 times 2 times 0 equals 0. Yeah, come on now. So with the 0, we're happy. Plus 1 times 1 times 1 equals 1. Plus 2 times 3 times 1 equals 6. Then we have our negative orange diagonals from down here. So we write our minus signs here and we have minus. 1 times 2 times 2, so minus 4, minus 1 times 1 times 0 is 0, minus 0 times something we don't care, it's going to be 0 anyway. So zeros are our friends in our matrices. Uh, so if we add, this is all 0, so we have 1 plus 6 equals 7, minus 4 equals 3. So if you only have um, a few numbers that are not equal to zero in your matrix. It's great and you're fast, but that is not always the case. So like here, we don't have any zero. We have lots of negative numbers. So lots of things to take care of during our calculations. Uh, sometimes there are fractions in there that make it more difficult, of course, um, but it's always the same thing. First you check if you have a three by three matrix. Yes, we have one. So we take our first two columns and write them behind our matrix and use colors to um, draw your diagonals to make it easier to calculate. Okay, let's focus. Let's calculate. 3 times negative 2 equals negative 6 times 4 equals negative 24 plus. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2 times negative 1 equals 2 plus. 2 times 1 equals 2 times 2 equals 4. Okay, our negative diagonals now, the orange ones, are you ready? So we have our minus here already from subtracting these, so we have the minus here. Now we calculate negative 1 times negative 2 equals positive 2, and 2 times 2 equals 4. Then we subtract. Next diagonal, we multiply. 2 times negative 2 equals negative 4, and negative 4 times 3 equals negative 12. So we have the minus from our diagonal, and from the multiplication, we have a result of negative 12. Then minus the last diagonal, 4 times 1 times 1. This is an easy one again. Minus the 4. Let's calculate. Negative, negative 12. So we can write this as a plus 12, so that it's easier to see some things. Plus 4, minus 4 cancels out. And then negative 24 plus 2 equals negative 22. Negative 22 plus 12 equals negative 10, and negative 10 minus 4 is negative 14 in total. I hope you know now how it works. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I wish you a wonderful day, and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Take care!